Brad, I'm coming out filming. No cussing. What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe, we are still in Georgia. Day number three. And you guys, we are living the life. Are you coming, Redneck? Come on. We have done offshore fishing, tore the dolphin and wahoo up. We've done... What else have we done? I'm having a brain fart. What do we do day number two? Come on. Crawfish. <laughs> Y'all, look at this. Crawfish. Piles of them. Big old biggins. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Hold on. What, what else have we done? Well, I'm in full camo for good reason. Look at this stud <laughs> of a freaking gobbler. Look at that rope. You didn't glue that on Look, there? I did not glue this on there. When he came walking in, I swear I thought it was a double beard because look how thick it was. Dragging the ground. On a one to 10, how excited were you? A 10? Say it. 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. Look at the curves on him too. What? Look how Ooh, sharp that is. Son. Me and Brad just measured him. He's 11 inches. We got Brad Yeoman right over there. Don't mind that in his hand. He just picks him up. People leave him around, laying around. He picks him up. So here's what we're doing. We're going limb line catfishing tonight and we're having us a little tournament. You ain't started cheating, have you? Look, why ain't you kept him alive? We needed those for bait. I'm going in the grease. <laughs> I need a couple of these cats. I'll trade you a big one for one. Get all of them you want. I got another cooler full up there. Oh, they're still alive. You think they'll live? Oh man, I'll pay you $5 a piece for them. Pull out the money and you can have them so good. I'll give you the whole cooler. You, how much five, you got $5 for, for the boat ramp. You owe me five. That cooler's We definitely need to get some of them. We need to get three or four of them. Here, I'll take them. Just take two. Let's try two. This big? No, they're not. They're cool. Yeah, they're fine. Go put them in the. Yeah. Can have every one of them. All right, put, that's that's all we need. We'll just try two. Thank you. Welcome. We're gonna try to turn this into a bigger catfish. Where'd you get the turkey? A Catawba worm. <laughs> she shot him off the side road. Huh? Nickel, my brother-in-law wanted me to carry you. Well, dang! Why didn't we? That's who we hunt. That's whose place we hunted. Oh. Yeah. We got to get down here on the boat. We're going on Brad's little 12 or 14 foot aluminum boat. We're going to set lines and catfish all night long tonight because we're having a tournament. A little $50 a boat Calcutta. I think there's five or six, seven boats in it. Biggest fish takes the entire pot. One big catfish is going to take, I don't know, four or 500 bucks. Hopefully it's us. Might not be, but hopefully it is. Right here is the Ottawa Hall River. If you're new to my channel, that's our little camp we have here in Paradise Park in Jessup, Georgia. And this is the river. It's a beautiful place. All right, before I can go any further in this video, I got to tell you a little bit more about Helix Sleep and my new mattress. This thing is insane. They make premium mattresses customized to fit your needs. <laughs> what are you doing? These beds are so comfortable. I thought you were working. I'm taking a break. Now I've had this particular mattress for about a year and I can promise you my chronic back pain that I used to experience has been gone ever since I started sleeping on this bed. And I like this one so much that I even got a new one from a hunting camp in Georgia. But if you're like me and you were worried about how do you go and get a mattress because you don't have a truck or you don't want to be seen driving down the highway with a mattress flapping from your roof, that's where Helix Sleep comes into play the best. All you got to do is jump online, go to helixsleep.com, take their sleep quiz. It takes less than a minute. They'll customize this mattress to fit your needs. That to me is amazing. I didn't have to go anywhere. I didn't have to burn any gas. I didn't have to go pick up a mattress. It was shipped straight to my door, conveniently vacuum sealed and in a box. All I had to do is open it up. They even have a hundred night sleep trial to test the mattress out to ensure you love it. It comes with a 10 year warranty. How do you beat that? They even offer financing options and easy, flexible payment plans. Well, now that you've seen how comfortable this mattress is and just how easy it is to get one of these mattresses, head over to helixsleep.com slash bluegabe, where starting May 15th, they're going to have a Memorial Day sale where you'll get 25% off plus two free pillows. And if you happen to miss that, you can always just head to my link and get your 20% off plus two free pillows. I want to show you real quick before we get started this really nice houseboat these people are building down here. It is beautiful. The one thing that's not beautiful is the mosquitoes and you see them over there fogging them out right now. Or trying to fog them out. I don't know if it works or not. 
This houseboat right here is nice. They built them a shower house. And that's it. This river flows pretty hard out to the Atlantic Ocean. It's time to go set some lines. If you're not familiar with a limb lining, you're about to be. We're gonna go tie a bunch of lines to branches with hooks, with live bait on them, and the catfish at some point will eat them. You come back by, you'll see the limb shaking. That's how we catch them. Baby, you think we can do this on our own? Oh yeah. It's been a long time since I've ran a tiller motor like that. We got this. Oh boy. We got this. And we got to get it all on film and we got to set that crawfish it's trap out. Trap show, but we're going to get it. That right there has got a pile of bluegills in it that we caught earlier. We got a tournament to win, babe. We got a, we definitely, y'all haven't seen this place on a weekend yet. This is like the redneck yacht club right around here with tiller motors and i am rip rare and ready to go brad was gonna come but he wants to go put the crawfish up that we caught a little while ago and put her turkey up so that's what he's gonna do right now we're gonna try to figure out this tiller motor all right here goes nothing i think that's neutral that's reverse Whoa! Easy! Easy! Now this motor is designed to jump up in case we hit a log. Alright. Ain't no promises now with me driving this thing. So hold on. See one of those duck or bleed moments. Here's a better angle of this beautiful houseboat. That thing is nice. We gotta watch for other boats on a day like today. Other boat, that's how the guy that owned the camp that we have, he died right up here in this corner. It's okay where I'm sitting. I ain't sure about none of it. Probably. Should I put my life jacket on? Maybe. Let us just keep sliding in. We're gonna put it right there in that center. Got a two hook rig here. Oh, I just lost the bait. I'm feeling this, babe. Going with the whole catfish on this one. You got it marked?
Watch your head coming behind you. Hook him right in the back. That's a warm mouth. That's a good bait. Yamaha running a little rough. Oh, there's a big log right there. Right there on this branch. He's got a line right here. I don't see the line. No. Ow, mosquito just got me. Let me get up here and help you. We gotta first check the depth. Come around, I'll show you what we're doing. This is a real short line, too. All right, so it's right at the ribbon. We want it to be up. Come here and watch me tie this knot. All you do is loop it around, pull just that back in. That joker's as good as head. Oh, big old bait. Right there. We're fishing. You got it marked? I think we put another one right up here in front of us since we're already in here and that branch right in there. Grab that branch. I'm coming up to help you. All right. Shallow right here. Hold this branch for me, real quick. Right there. This might be a big old big one. Try to get us one of these select baits. Right here, I got it. I got my hands on it. Oh no. Babe, turn around quick, tree. So Crystal's marking all the spots on her phone and I'm driving the boat and this current is swift. It's actually trying to pull us into the marsh right now where it's super shallow. You don't want to end up in there. I've showed you putting out a bunch of lines. Now we're going to get busy because we actually have like 20 to set. We'll see y'all when we start pulling them at some point tonight. We'll probably let them sit an hour and then start checking them and rebaiting them if they don't have bait. Trees in here, How old do you think that tree is right there? It's huge and it's hollow. And then look at this one right here. Look how wide that is. It's just like that tree right there has seen some stuff in its life. That's a big cypress tree. 
Y'all leave it up to me in Crystal Beachy to be late to our own tournament. <laughs> oh, when we got here a couple days ago and people started pouring in, it was my idea to do this little tournament, which it's really not that big deal. It's not that much money. It's just everybody having fun. But I'm the one who ignited the idea. Here it is, the morning of, and we overslept. I woke up at 6.30, rolled over and said, let's go. And the next thing I woke, next thing I know, Crystal's saying it's eight o'clock and we gotta go. So we have less than 30 minutes to go and check all these lines, get a fish and be back here to weigh it in, or we forfeit. We did fish last night and didn't have a single fish. But what I did do is come walking down this really steep bank and I got right here and tripped and I landed in that boat. Face first, but didn't spill the bait in the bait bucket. That was like a 10 point dive and I really jacked up my knee. So we're gonna have to do this pretty quick. We put out 22 lines yesterday in the daylight, and then last night put out another eight, I think. So we actually have like, we have oh, we have 30 ones. We put out an extra six. Let's get to pulling. Absolutely crazy. We have not had a fish. Nothing. And he's still alive. Is it hung on the log? This is the one that was hung last night. And it's still alive. Man. catch a fish? I've never been fishing with you and we did not catch a fish. So. Check this one right here. I don't think there's one on there, but like not even a fish and the bait's still alive. This is insane. Hopefully we caught a crawfish. Lee, a perfectly live bait. They just didn't eat last night. <laughs> that bait's still alive. We did do that. Not a ton, but we caught some, enough for a snack. Just pull the whole thing in the boat. We're gonna keep running. Oh. 
<laughs> we caught one. He's big, but he's not big in comparison to what we caught here before. We actually caught one. We better hurry to the weigh-in. <laughs> so you can see right here on the map where we're at. Look how far out in the swamp we are. There's a river way over there, and it's the swamp is that big. So last night when we were checking these lines without that map, I couldn't figure out how to get back to the river. So it's right over there, about 130 yards. Everything looks the same. No, 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 no. Say, so, uh, we was at your house at nine o'clock. See, I way in was at your house. See, I I film everything, and I filmed pulling up at eight fifty eight. Where's Where's the big fish? Thirty pound. Yeah. You, I would have jumped in the river and done a backflip to catch. You know how many we caught since yesterday when we started? One. We tied out at 11.30 last night. We went and tied our hooks up, went to sleep, and woke up this morning, checked, and we caught nine off 24 hooks. We caught one off of 31. One fish. Every one of my baits are still alive. We caught nine off of 24 hooks, and we tied out at 11.30 last night and did not check them all night, checked them this morning. We didn't even wake up and leave that house till 8.05. We have a literally a five pounder. Uh -huh. oh. I had to give y'all a little bit of, son, go in that bucket right there and get that fish, please. That's the worst I've ever seen it. Full moon. Yeah. Full moon. I mean, I had 25 live baits. Let's go see their fish. They're bringing it down. Oh, we're gonna do it again. Sandra, I lied last night. When I fell, I did hurt myself. I think I broke my knee. <laughs> Beth said, <laughs> Beth said he hit his shin right on the edge of that. He, Dang! He didn't hurt if he wants to. Look at that big old biggin. He weighed 13. 13? 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. They caught the 30 pounder. Oh, y'all caught the yeah. 30 pounder. Yeah, yeah, so. You don't even need to weigh him, trust me. Cause oh, that's okay. Mine's only about five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> you, you officially won. But I still want to see him. All right. That's a good fish. Then that's all we caught was one channel cat. We caught, we caught nine. We didn't even have hooks empty. And I had them from in the nice. creeks to the edge of the river. <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, What'd you do? You bit me. Oh Lord, I get bit all the time by him. How about it, buddy? How you doing? Y'all kicked our butts. Dang. Come around here and let's get the light right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, too bad. The bite wasn't like it was, like it's supposed to be. This is my fourth time setting limb lines. I ain't never seen it so bad. Uh, yeah, yeah no, we hadn't either. We set 35 on and probably caught what? Nine. Nine. Caught we two. set 31 and caught one. Really? And had no empty hooks. We caught. Yeah, that was the same way with yeah, us. We, we, caught, a bunch of bait. we caught two flatheads, probably 25, 25 pound a piece, and some, some half the size of this, some a lot smaller than this, and he was this morning, and that's what happened. He, we pulled him up and he went and grabbed him by the mouth because he wasn't hooked good and he spun and when he spun he filleted him. Look, that's our fish right there. Here, turn to this. Turn. That, that's Crystal Beachy's fish. And I'm going to say that's Crystal's fish and that's their fish. Y'all won. I appreciate it. Sandra, give them the money. Here we go. Four bucks. Thank you. $200, man. We appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. If y'all ever want to do it again, give me a Oh, we're going to do it again. I'm going to have to keep it. We need to get it bigger and bigger. Let's do it. I'm down. Babe, we got whooped. We got some work We got whooped. <laughs> Look at the money. Hey. Don't spend it all in one place. Now. <laughs> spend it on a hospital trip. Yeah. <laughs> we got skunks, man. That was a nice group of people, though. They were. 
Babe, we might have only caught one catfish, but we're winning. Because we got all that fresh wahoo right there. This stuff right here. What about the cockroach landing on your head? Babe, last night, we're going to get back to yours. But last night, I did this right here, and he come projectiling out at me. Like he was attacking me. How'd it make you feel? I know, I was in the shower, and Gacom's running in there. He's like, babe! <laughs> cockroach came at me where did the cockroach land the other day on my face <laughs> we might not have won the catfish tournament but what did we what did we win a new lease we're back in florida we done left georgia that camp in georgia is one of my favorite places on earth but if you follow along you know we were on a hunting lease with mr trevor in ona florida well we ended up losing it the mining company that owns the land took it back and we've now found a new lease. I didn't think in my wildest dreams I would ever be able to afford something like this, but with good friends and all of y'all watching and a lot of hard work, I can finally afford it. <laughs> Look at, there's Luke. There's Mr. Robert Spotswood. This is Carlos. What was your name again? Alex. Alex. Hey, Crystal just said, I ain't never leaving. <laughs> all right, but no further nowhere. ado, let's go show them we are in the middle of nowhere and look at this giant cabin we are gonna bust out some catch clean and cooks here like never seen before look at the pool look at the pool that's like an olympic size pool yeah i'm swimming no don't get wet yet so we gotta go for a ride still what do you think Beats my last uh, hey. setup. Huh? I told him a lot of hard work. I never <laughs> thought I could afford it, but now we can. Now we can. Now we can. Have you been inside yet? Yeah. Is it nice? Yeah. There ain't no way it can't. I mean, it's, it needs. It needs. It, look, it's, it's been here for a little while. It needs to be dusted off. It needs to be used. It don't matter. Look at the canoe. Hey, look at those. That's, That's a lot. We got some mule deer, elk. That's about the size of the elk I killed this year. Oh, they pulled! Babe, look at this place. Son, we done outdid ourselves. Crystal, come play some. We have outdone ourselves. Holy Toledo. I don't even know if that's the yellow. So we're in Central Florida. This lease is only an hour and a half from our house. It will be a complete game changer. A lot of you might not know this, but hog hunting videos single-handedly like keep my channel pushing. That's what's made me have the most growth. And I was so worried that I wasn't going to find another place where I could consistently do hog videos. We now have it. We don't know how long we have it for. But we have it for the time being and that is so amazing got an old sink here a spot for grilling see this dust right here a lot of you might think it's termites but it's not it's from this type of of uh it looks like a bumblebee and it gets in this wood and drills holes yeah right there you see that perfect drill hole up there that's not from a drill that's from these bumblebees that eat into the wood i hear one flying around we now have a place where we can get some hog dogs for the kids because Luke and Jake's been wanting hog dogs, which I don't blame them. That's how I grew up. I always had a hog dog. There's even a hot tub over there, folks. Holy macaroni. Here's one of these right here. Perfect. So this is what drills into the wood. Look at that. I don't know if he'll sting you or not, but I ain't going to find out. I am in hog heaven so on a place like this how it works they have a set amount of money that they want for the entire place then you figure out how many people you want on it and you divide it up i'm scared to tell y'all how much i'm going to spend but it's all going to be worth it so i just got off the buggy and slipped through the woods you hear that hog hold on a second i gotta tell them to come y'all come on there's a big hog up here big hog He's big, son. 
He's right here. We got him trapped. Big hog. This is Betsy and Louise. What's up? What's up, y'all? How you doing? We ain't shooting these, though. These are the camp mascots. We tricked you. They'll let you scratch them. Scratch them on their head. Look. Look, they're friendly. Y'all, what a day. We woke up this morning at 6 o'clock at our camp in Georgia. And now it's about 7.30 at our new camp in Central Florida. We didn't cook anything. We didn't clean anything. But you guys got to see an awesome catfish tournament and a beautiful new camp where I'm going to raise these kids. And Buddy's going to raise his family. And we're going to just live life to our fullest out here in the great outdoors. That's it for this video, though. There's more to come. I still have another video coming from Georgia. I have another video coming from Wyoming. It's just getting good. It's summertime. The kids are almost out of school. We can start traveling more, spending a lot of time out here and in Georgia and in the Keys and in the Bahamas. That's it for this one, though. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here. We're getting the heck out of shape.